What's going on everyone? Hypershadic46 coming at you with another dueling lesson. So last time we talked about spells, how to use them. Um, now we are going to get into traps. Uh, like I said in my previous videos, if you have yet to see any of them, um, I would advise to go watch those videos first. I will put a link in the description of the previous parts. But anyway, let's just jump right in. So... From what I know, there are six types of trap cards. However, I only have three to show off, so I will be focusing on those three today. And I will try to put in what knowledge I know about the other three. So you have, there are six types of trap cards. You have continuous, you have counter, normal, field, equipped, and what was that last one? No, I have to, I have to look that up. Um, but... Those, that's five of six, I believe. Um, well, let's focus on these three. So you have your continuous. Now, if you watch the spell, the spell video, then I, then you will know that the, um, these trap cards will work sort of the same like spell cards, except the difference between these is that trap cards have to be, have to be set uh, one for at least one turn. You uh, unlike spells, you can't just activate a trap because a trap has to be set. And in order for you to activate, it's basically like activating a trap in real life. You can't just activate a trap right then and there. The trap has to be set first. In order for then, it has to be sprung. So, the, I have a counter trap. I have an, a continuous trap. And I have a normal trap. Now, normal traps, they they work normally. Uh, no pun intended. Um, they work normally. You can only activate them once. And once you activate them, they go to the graveyard continuous they work like continuous spells they once they're activated they stay on the field unless something negates it and or destroys it and then you have counters which basically work like normals except i don't really know what the difference is you just activate them and then you use them um yeah uh let me see well the difference between sakuretsu armor and grand horn of heaven is that grand horn of heaven negates um uh, special summoning of a monster from my opponent and sakuretsu armor is only activated when an opponent declares an attack against one of my monsters but other than that i don't really see the difference between counters and normals i mean yeah i really can't understand the difference because i've used these two the exact same i mean yeah their effects are different but the way how i use them are the exact same but let's give a let's give a scenario. Oh yeah, real quick. Of course, you know continuous. They have the infinity symbol. Counters have sort of like an arrow pointing, and normals are normals. So let's give a scenario. So I'm gonna just set all three, so that way I can use them for right now. So like before, I'm gonna bring out mystical elf, and I'm going to bring out Angmaro. So let's say um. Of course, Angmaro is stronger than my Mystical Elf, as I said in the last video. Let's say if he were to attack my Mystical Elf. Well, normally, my Mystical Elf would be destroyed. But, instead, I can activate... Oh, wrong card. I can activate Sakuretsu Armor. And, of course, I said its effect. When an opponent's monster declares an attack against my monster, the attacking monster is destroyed and sent to the graveyard. So... That's that's normally what Sakuretsu armor does, and that's how you would normally activate a normal trap. Now, let's say if I had, let's say I did, you know, I destroyed uh, Angmaro, he was sent to the graveyard, and that's all said and done. But let's say if my opponent has a special spell or trap card that could bring him back, like, say, this Monster Reborn that he plays. Well, now, Monster Reborn would allow him to special summon him, well, Ang Merle, the Fiendish Monarch, back from the graveyard. But, I could counter that with Grand Horn of Heaven. Grand Horn of Heaven, which, like I said, it restricts a special summon from a monster. So, that means that that Monster Reborn has just been rendered useless, and Ang Merle does not come back from the graveyard. And that was, that was an effective counter... I guess that's how you could use them. They're basically counters. But I figured normal uh, normal traps could be used the same way. But, um, yeah. And, of course, you remember, uh, if you've watched the spell video that I did, um, of course, continuous. They have the infinity symbol. They stay on the field unless something negates it. Like, uh, 
like a mystical space typhoon or something like that. I mean, like I said, spells and traps can negate each other as long as they have the effect to do it. I mean, because like I said, not all... I mean, I don't want anyone to get mixed up on this, but not all spells and traps can negate each other. There are specific ones that could do stuff for monsters, or there are stuff that could do stuff to certain phases in the turn, or anything anything other than negating each other. They can basically do that. Like they can, like I said, they can restrict summoning. They could um, do stuff to monsters, all that good stuff. But, yeah, continuous spells stay on the field. They don't go away until something uh, negates it. So... That was traps. Um, I'd have yet to... S Actually, in real life, I have seen an equip trap. And an equip trap works basically the same way ha as an equip spell does. Except, it's unlike, a, unlike a spell, equip trap cards have to be set. Because it has that little... that it, cause it has Since it has that trap color to it, it has to be set for at least one turn. It can't be just activated right off the bat. But... Then you have your, I never in my entire life have seen a an equipped, I mean, a, a trap field. I have never seen that before in my life, so I'm not sure how I'm going to be able to do that. Who knows, it may, it may not even be true, but I wouldn't bet money on it. But those are the, those are the uh, trap cards for you. Uh, they come in many different sort of ways, sort of like um, spells, so... Yeah, sorry for this episode being so short. I really didn't expect to, to see so much about traps. I mean, because like I said, I've never seen a, a field trap card. But uh, but thank you for watching. Um, please rate, comment, and subscribe. Chaos control that like button like you've never chaos controlled before. Just believe. And I will see you all in the next video. Next video, we will be talking about phases and turns. So, I can't wait for that one. Um, yeah, chaos control that like button, and I will see you all in the next video. Thank you all, and have a nice day.